come back to watch yet another one of my YouTube videos. I'm having so much fun with this and it has just been the best decision that I've made in a long time to make these videos. Now, after the last couple of videos, I paid attention to my comments as well as my friends that I saw around town and the general consensus was that a lot of you were interested in seeing a video about foundation. Foundation is, I think, a very confounding um, makeup product and no matter how many years you've been wearing makeup, uh, you still struggle to figure out what foundation is right for you, including the color. It's, it feels like a crapshoot all the time, honestly. Um, now, foundation makeup companies have gotten better recently in the last few years about making a wider range of shades for all skin tones, and that's wonderful. But that also makes it more difficult to figure out which one of those shades is right for you. Um, and we're not going to really talk about shade choices right now, but the main focus of today's video is going to be about how to choose the right foundation for what your needs are. There are, I mean, there are a million, a million different types of foundation on the market, and the, the combinations that you can get are endless. Um, let's start with the formulations. Um, so obviously you can get liquid foundation. You can get foundation that comes in a stick. Uh, which is more of a solid, or that's, that solid might be pressed into a pan. Um, you can also get uh, pressed powder or powder foundations, and those would be like the bare minerals where you have the powder that you then buff onto your skin. Um, I'm sure there's more. Uh, oh, there's air, there's uh, air flash, or um, where you, you, know, you spray the foundation onto your skin. It's almost like airbrushing. That's your first decision. What kind of foundation do you want to get? So for... Um, for women over 40, which are kind of the people that I'm gearing these videos towards, you know, you, it's really personal preference. I mean, that's that's the bottom line. Your liquids are going to add moist, more moisture to your skin, most likely, and that is going to be probably something that you're most interested in. So, you know, you kind of have to pick what your formulation is. Most of us are, are liquid users. We've been using liquid foundation um, for years and years and years and are very familiar with it. So, you know, that's your first thing. What, what formulation are you going to use? Once you've decided that, um, you, you have to pick out what properties you need for your skin. And that's where it really starts to get dicey. Now, just momentarily, let's talk about the, the, the real purpose of foundation. Smoothing out your skin's appearance, evening out skin tone, I'm reading from notes that I made, um, and balancing color. You're going to have properties in foundations that are countless. You can have foundation that's moisturizing. You can have foundation that has SPF in it. You can have foundation that has no SPF. You can have foundation that has anti-aging properties. Uh, you can have foundation that's mattifying or um, that is you know, glowifying. You can have foundation that is um, light scattering to um, kind of, it almost like it makes your face look more radiant. So that's a radiance um, benefit. Um, then, of course, once you kind of look at all those properties, uh, then you've got the, the other big choice, which is do you want full coverage or do you not want full coverage? And in the not full coverage area, you have ranges from almost sheer all the way up to nearly full coverage or medium coverage. So let's kind of go through the dichotomies. First thing you choose, formulation. Let's say we're going to go with a liquid. All right. So do you want full coverage? or do you want not full coverage? Well, that question um, is, is really a personal preference question. If you have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of color variations or sun damage um, in your skin, you may want a more full coverage foundation, but there are women, including me, who think freckles are beautiful and don't want to cover them up all the time. And so you may choose a more sheer or medium coverage foundation so that you have a more natural appearance. Um, because your full coverage foundations will not look as natural on your face as a sheer to medium coverage foundation. So um, that's something that's personal preference based on what you like. You can have full coverage foundations that feel very comfortable on your face, um, and you can have medium to sheer that feel like a mask. So let's talk a little bit about what you might should, should or what you probably should choose. Um, if you're over 40, or maybe even over 35, 
um, what, what happens is our skin starts to dry out. Even women who may have had um, an oilier uh, skin when they were younger, you tend to start losing moisture in your skin. And as you lose moisture in your skin, that's when you start to see more aging. And so generally, you're going to want a moisturizing foundation that's not um, super drying to your skin. So that's something that you want to look for. Additionally, even if you don't tan very much um, or don't spend a lot of time in the sun, as you get older, it's so, really all the time, uh, really all the time, let's be honest. And, and I know I'm from the generation that when, when I was little, you know, we went to the beach and, um, and the most conservative people would wear SPF 15. That was like the highest on the market. And we wore SPF 8. Um, if I got really tan, I was down in the Hawaiian Tropic SPF 2 um, when I was in high school. And my mother would um, use baby oil when she was in college. So we've come a long way since then. But generally, all of us are going to want to choose a foundation that does have an SPF in it. You may be also using a moisturizer that has an SPF factor in it, and that's wonderful. You should. Um, in fact, I would say that dermatologists would recommend that you additionally use a whole layer of sunscreen on your face. Now, if I'm going to spend a day in the sun at a rugby match, you know, outside for the entire day, um, I'm going to probably put on some sunscreen under everything. Um, but on a day-to-day -day basis, when I'm going from my house to work, but when I'm living my everyday life, what I have is an SPF moisturizer topped with a foundation that has SPF in it. And I kind of feel like that um, doubles the benefit. So you want to look for that. Check the bottle. It's going to say, you know, SPF 20. You probably don't find foundations that have a much higher than SPF 22 or 25. Um, for, a, for a regular foundation. Beyond those things, moisturizing and SPF, which I really recommend for women our age, um, it's really about what your skin needs. Do you need a poor minimizing foundation? Do you uh, need a foundation that, uh, that, that maybe adds radiance to your skin? Um, you know, one of the other things that happens to us as we age is we tend to get dull, dullness in our skin. We lose that youthful glow, that radiance that you see in a younger woman's um, face. And so a lot of times if you look at a foundation, um, it'll have, I'm going to teach y'all some buzzwords. It'll, it might say illuminating or radiance or um, brightening. Um, those foundations might have particles in the formulation that scatter the light uh, or, you know, or even, um, I guess the word would be reflect light back from your face so that you have a glow in your face. Do you want a mattifying foundation? That's another thing that's been really big lately is mattifying versus a glow or a dewiness. Now, dewiness has been the appearance of dewiness or almost like your skin is slightly damp um, and just plump with moisture has been really, really popular in the last few years, uh, especially with the, this big uh, surge in the, the desirability of glow with the highlighters. You can add that to your whole face. Well, I talked about this a little bit in the highlighter video, um, but if you are starting to see aging in your skin, like maybe you have some wrinkles around your eyes, around your mouth, in your forehead, like I do right here, the shine, in a foundation that is a glowifying or a dewy look um, is going to add uh, to the appearance of that. It's going to make it seem more obvious. So I recommend women who are starting to try to disguise their skin's aging, I do not recommend a glow foundation. Uh, mattifying is far better. I use the analogy of the paint on the wall that if you want the disguise texture, you use a matte paint or a flat paint. And if you add a glossy paint, you're going to see all the texture. Um, and like I said last week, that's the same as your skin. So I go for mattifying foundation. And then if I want to add a shine, I choose where that goes. You are going to see in the, in the foundation world, um, like I said a minute ago, there are a ton of buzzwords that foundations like to use that kind of give you clues about what they do. One of them is HD. If you see a foundation that's called HD, um, it's going to mean that it makes your skin look good even in high def. Well, we know what it looks like if you look bad in high def, so of course we all want to go for that. Um, that that's going to mean that it's going to blur 
somehow, and I am no scientist. I do not know how foundations are made. I know some of the ingredients that they tend to use. I don't know which one does this, but there is an ingredient that will blur your skin and tend to make it look flawless under a harsher, more HD light so that when people get really close, it's really hard to see that. I love that. I think that's great for women our age. Um, the other one is uh, long lasting. Do you want your foundation to last from the minute you go out the door in the morning until the minute you get home at seven or eight o'clock at night? That's my life. I mean, I walk out the door to go to work. I might come home for a minute in the afternoon, I change directly into gym clothes and go to the gym. Sometimes I leave from the gym and go to a sports event for one of my kids. Well, I might be sweaty, but you know, dang it if my foundation doesn't still look good because I chose a long lasting foundation. Um, it matters to me that my foundation lasts throughout the day. I hear so many women talk about, well, it just looks like my makeup's just gone right off my face as soon as I put it on. You could possibly be choosing a foundation that's more long lasting. The buzzword for that might be all hours, you know, day to night, um, long wear. Uh, those kinds of things imply long lasting. Um, I said this one before, the illuminating, radiance, um, but the light scattering particles. That's another buzzword that you see. So when you're shopping, um, you really pay attention to the title or the name of your foundation. It'll tell you what all of its benefits are. And then you can look it up. If you want to look it up online, um, you will find paragraphs of information about that foundation and that tells exactly what it does. The other thing I think that women struggle with is this huge range in names of foundations and tinted products that are on the market now. Anymore, it's just mind boggling. Um, you have everything from tinted moisturizer to BB cream to CC cream to DD cream to foundation from sheer to full coverage. And, and you say, how, how do I even choose what to buy? How do I even choose what to buy? Um, well, let's review those quickly. Sheer or tinted moisturizer is just what it says. That's moisturizer that's had a little bit of color added to it. And then you got BB cream. Now BB cream is, is fairly new to the market, last 10 years, seven years maybe. Um, and it means beauty or blemish balm. Companies will use that interchangeably. And the, the purpose of BB cream is that it's a moisturizer that also protects using SPF and color corrects. So it's kind of like one step up from tinted moisturizer, but one step down from foundation. Um, it's a great alternative if you don't want to spend a lot of time in the morning um, on your face. However, my caveat to that is that I fear that women who use BB cream um, a lot of times are skipping their skincare routine. And no, ma'am, we are not skipping skincare anymore when we are 45 years old. Um, so you really don't need BB cream if you are caring for your skin the way you should be. I know that sounded mean, but that's a hard and fast rule. I mean, you've got to take care of your skin when you're our age. You really should be. So that's what BB cream is. Now CC cream stands for color correcting cream. And it's honestly, I mean, I've gotten a CC cream and a BB cream right beside each other and you, I, I can't even tell the difference in what they are. So they'll say that it's more about the color correcting and less about the moisturizing and protecting, I think. So the way I kind of understand it is tinted moisturizer, BB cream, CC cream, foundation. And then you get the foundation and you go from sheer to medium to full coverage, kind of like that. There's this like long, picture as a spectrum almost. Now, DD cream, I've seen only one or two times. I don't even know what that word means. So um, it's superfluous. We're not gonna even talk about it. I use um, foundation and that's, like I said, that's personal choice. You can choose whatever you want as far as that's concerned. So when you're shopping for foundation, you need to kind of go through a set of questions with yourself. This is how I do it. What kind of foundation do I want? Liquid, solid, stick, you know, bare minerals type. Um, what coverage do I want? Do I want medium or full? What properties do I want it to have? Do I want it to have SPF? Do I want it to make me radiant? Do I want it to make me more matte? Do I want it to make me more youthful? 
you get into the gray area of what your preferences are. So that's where you need to spend a little bit of time reflecting on what's important to you and what your skin needs. I really want to thank you for watching my video today and I would love it if you would hit the like button and subscribe so that you get notifications for all of my videos um, in the future going forward. And um, if you would be so kind as to leave comments about what you'd like to see next, I would appreciate it. I have so many ideas about what I want to share with you. Um, I'm thinking about doing a brows video next. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing a video on primers and the importance of primers. I'm going to check my notes. I was thinking about doing a video on lipstick. So why don't you vote? Um, send me a, a comment in the comments below. I'm going to post this video on Facebook. I'm going to tweet this video and maybe I'll share it on Instagram. And y'all make sure to follow me on all my social media channels. And, um, and let me know what you want to see next. I'm going to try to do, I'd like to do two videos a week, but we um, have just gotten a new puppy. So it might be one video a week for a while until the puppy is house trained, until we get through football season, um, and until we get through marching band season. So until we get, this is the life of a, of a mom of high school kids is, um, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing good to make one video a week. So I hope y'all stick with me and please share my videos wherever you like. You tell your friends about it. I would love to get the word out that there are videos out there for women who are our age um, who also love makeup. So again, thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you next time.